Hello, Matrix, and welcome again. Today we are looking at 2019 paper one, the maths, and it's a question that I already did an answer to during the video memo, but there was a question in the comment section about this, and so I thought I would explain further because at the time I was working out the answer and trying to explain it at the same time, and so maybe I didn't do the best job that I could have on that one. So what I want to do is just redo this uh, solution and hopefully make it a little bit uh, more clear because it's a it was actually controversial some of the teachers complained that it wasn't in the syllabus this uh, question but it, actually it is it's exponents uh, it was just unusual way of asking things so it's something that people hadn't seen before but uh, it, it's something similar could come up um, but yeah after what happened probably not um, but yeah let's go through it so it was question 1.3 and it says, consider the product one times two times three times four, et cetera, to all the way to 30. So I've written this a little, a little bit more detail, but basically what it means is 30 factorial. So if those of you aren't familiar what factorial means, it means all the numbers up to 30 when you multiply them together, all the positive uh, integers. So, uh, the second say, uh, part says, determine the largest value of k, such that 3 to the k is a factor of this product. So what does that mean? Well, I've also written that. So say we just had 3 and k was 1. So if k was 1, it would just be 3 to the 1, which is 3. Now, if k was 2, it would be 3 times 3. If k was 3, it would be 3 times 3. So whatever k is, uh, that's how many times uh, you multiply uh, three by itself. And so what we're saying is how many times would three go into this big product here? And, and this is actually a whole big number, which if you put on your calculator, um, you wouldn't get a, an answer big enough. I mean, you wouldn't get a, a sensible answer that you could just hang on, cheat this question and, and, and see the answer. You, you wouldn't be able to. So... Um, it really requires an understanding of exponents. So let's say that the question was one times, let's say that it was just one times two times three times four times five. Okay. It wasn't all the way up to 30. Well, what are the factors of this number? Well, if you multiply this, one times two is six times four is 24 times five is 120. Right? Well, how many times does three go into this number? Well, it only goes in once because if we look, uh, there's only one three. And so if you divided 120 by three, you'd get 40. Does 40 go into three, 40 divided by three? No, not without uh, a fraction. So we know that if it was to five, it would be just uh, one three. Now, let's say that we went up to six, okay. Uh, we would have suddenly a bigger number, and that would be 720. Now we look and what which numbers here contain three? Well, three contains a three, of course, and then six contains a three. So we would have a three here and a three here because six is three times two. And so in this number, we would have two threes. So if the question was this, for the first one, we, the answer would be k equals one because there's only one three. In this one, it would be k equals two. And we can test that by saying, well, what's 720 divided by three? Well, that's 120, uh, not 120, 240. Okay. And then 240 divided by three again is 80. Okay, we would just two, 720 divided by three, is 240, 240 divided by three is 80, and 80 divided by three does not go. So we can see that it goes just twice. So what we're doing is we're basically looking for all the numbers that contain a three as a factor. And so in the first one was just three, and this one was just three and six, okay? So now let's take it all the way up to 30. And so, the first number would be 
three. The next number would be six, which would be six, which would be three times two. The next number, if we're going in threes, would be nine, and that's three times three. Sorry, three squared. Uh, the next one would be 12, which is three times six. So, uh, sorry, three times four. So that would just have one. Okay, let me just uh, write this down. Okay, so three, six, nine. Let's do all the numbers first. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Because these are all multiples of three, these are all uh, the ones, these are all contained in this huge product up here. So if I was to highlight the ones that I've got, it would be that one, that one, there'd be a nine in here, and then of course 30. And these are all in the numbers in between that, that, that I haven't written down or that, that the question doesn't have either. Um, but they are there, so we need to include them. So uh, 12 contains one three. Uh, 15 contains one three, because it's three times five. Uh, 18 contains a nine, which is three squared times two. So we've got here three times four, three times five. This is three squared times two. 21 is three times seven. And I'm taking a little bit of time over this. Um, just so that I, so the next one was obviously three times eight and three times, well, 27 is three times three times three. So that's three cubed. And then this last one is three times 10. Okay. So like we've done here where we take out the three. So for the one, it was one times three times four. So let me just put a spotlight on here. Um, so this one here, we had one three because if it had been one times three times four times five, it would be 120. Over here, next one, we, if, if that had been the question, we would have two threes because we would have the three and the six. So finally, if we're looking at the whole one, so this is the actual question, this was what I did here was just as an explanation, which you wouldn't do in your final answer. You would simply go um, straight to what I've done here at the bottom. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. And now we count the number of threes because the number of threes would be the number of times a three goes into this 30. Uh, one, sorry, 30 factorial. And so let's take off the spotlight and let's just put it out. Okay, so this is the answer for K. So we got one here. I'm gonna count them up as I go. One, then we've got two. We've got, we're counting. So three plus another one is two. Here we've got another two. So we're going, we're counting them up. So we've got four now in total. Now we've got another one, so that's five. We count this one, it's six. Here we've got another two, three. So we're up to eight. Another three, up to nine. Another one, up to 10. Here we've got three threes, so now we're up to 13, and then the final one is 14. So three to the power of 14, that's what be, would be this um, answer here, if we took all the threes. And of course, three to the K, so three to the 14, so we therefore, K is equal to 14. Okay, so um, hopefully that made a bit more sense. Uh, this was a four mark question. Um, uh, so I'll just put that in there as well. Uh, this, the memo has still not been released. So this, as far as I know, is the only one I, I could find on the internet. So yeah, if anyone sees uh, anything I could help improve on this, but this is definitely the answer. I've uh, checked with some of my uh, mathematics friends and yeah, we all agree on this. So hopefully that helped. Good luck with all the studying. Uh, if this did help you, find the like, subscribe button down below because I post videos for matrix to help them uh, get better results. So it really is worth subscribing so that you get those notifications and yeah, keep watching. 
and I will see you in the next video where we're going to be doing some calculus. But yeah, have a great day.